Stefan was a lonely boy who loved making new friends. He would ignore his own desires to make others happy. He was always pulled between what he wanted to do and what others wanted him to do. Many times he ended up pleasing others at the cost of his needs. Once he went shopping with his mother. He wanted a T-shirt for an upcoming event, but his mom wanted him to get a shirt. So. He ended up buying a shirt. At another occasion, he wanted to play while his friend wanted to watch a movie. So they ended up watching a boring movie. One day, while sitting with Grandpa, Stefan stared at a model of a small house. It consisted of different shapes and colors, and Stefan really liked it. If he would like to make some changes, Dad would not like the shape of the house. Mom doesn't like bright colors. Tina will complain about how small the bedroom is, and Grandma will not like the porch. Grandpa took a hammer and began to break the parts he had pointed out. Stefan tried to stop him, but he didn't listen. After making the changes, all that was left was a slab of cardboard and pieces of shredded cardboard on it. Grandpa, what did you do? You worked so hard, and now everything is broken. Why would you do that, my son? I did everything to make everyone in the family happy. I did what they would want, but now everything is broken because all of them want different things. Exactly, that's my point. What do you mean? Look at yourself. You do everything to please others, but what about yourself? When will you do something that makes you happy? If you continue to do things to make others happy, you will become just like this house, broken and shattered to pieces. But Grandpa, what about compromises? Compromises once in a while are fine, but that doesn't mean you make it a habit. Remember, excess of anything is harmful. Compromising every time has made you disinterested in everything. What should I do then? It's been a long time since you did something to make yourself happy. You have to stand up for yourself, or you will remain unhappy. But what about people's expectations from me? People will always expect from you. It's up to you to keep your priorities first. If you don't treat yourself special, no one else will. Stefan understood. He promised Grandpa that he would no longer sacrifice his desires and will decide for himself. That was the only way to feel special.